Okay, so welcome back. Day two of our trip to Ireland and day two of Man vs Golf Hole Challenge. And it doesn't get any better than this. I am at Ballyliffin Golf Club and uh, Rory and co will be here in a matter of two weeks time to uh, play for the Irish Open. Now then, I'm on hole number three. This is stroke two. It's a real, real tough one. I'm going to film, I'm going to tee off from about 20 yards behind us. We'll get the tee shot off from uh, this camera position and then I'll fly the drone over because this is as tight as it gets in terms of fairways. Bunkers strip both right and left and then a tiny target at the end of it all. So a really hard par four. What I will say in my favour is it is a totally still day. There is virtually no wind whatsoever. Um, so that is a bit of a rarity. Anyway, enough of that intro. I'm gonna move over here and try and find that little tiny fairway. There's not a lot of it, I tell you. In that tee shot, like tells you everything you need to know about what a tough links track this is because I've caught that right out the screws, good as I can hit a drive, slightly left to right on it. First bounce, it's like it's in a concrete car park. It's actually flew up into the air and it's made its way to that first bunker on the right. And uh, I'm either gonna be extremely lucky and it's pulled up, but my guess is that I'm in that pot bunker there and the only option on um, looking at it at least from here it will be to chip out sideways, but we'll go and see and find out now. Nowhere near the bunker in terms of distance, I'm another sort of 25, 30 yards away. Um, certainly coming to play for the pros next week but for me it's um, it's worked out absolutely perfect I can't believe I found a fairway it is really really narrow I hope you got that from the drone anyway 140 to a flag that again from the drone I seen was right tucked in in that front left hand corner I'm gonna go eight iron and uh, fingers crossed gets somewhere near that green You know what, I was right on it and I had a feeling that the a time was just a little bit too short, a bit of breeze up there and uh, one hop forward and it wouldn't have been too far away, it was right on the flag you know but more than happy with that. The closer it got, the better it got, and it was almost perfect. It was pin eye, and it was just a little bit a yard or two to the right, and it's been a real good birdie opportunity uh, on stroke two. I'm going to go with putter because I don't think I've got, I haven't got Seve's hands this morning, not delicate enough to hit that little dink over that first cutter up, I don't think. So I'm going to go with the safe option, or at least I think it is, and go with putter. Great start to Man vs Golf Hole Challenge. I'm starting to think these things are fixed because uh, I'm really playing some decent golf and this camera's switched on at the minute. Real, real tough par four. Uh, if I'm honest, stood on the tee box, if you'd have said I was gonna get a four, I would have uh, absolutely bit your hand off for it because uh, looking back, it is so, so narrow. All about the tee shots, um, but a decent iron in as well. 
and like I said the one thing to remember no wind whatsoever uh, for me today so that's the uh, that's the bit I've got on my side anyway one up to the average golfer okay next hole I'm gonna stop at the six it's 156 yards I'm playing off the main tee box they're being protected uh, for the Irish Open next uh, in the next couple of weeks time so we're just on uh, to the side of those seeing for this drone footage now lovely par three plenty of trouble both left and right namely those bunkers you can see and we just pan round to that right hand side those three bunkers that are right of the, today's flag are a real worry so the idea for me will be plenty uh, left of that flag and uh, aiming for pretty much centre maybe centre left of the green that's the plan at least anyway stroke 14 no shots into the wind 156 58 I think I got it and we're playing six iron We should get it on shot tracer it's left of the green i popped it up far too high than what you'd want in this type of shot um, there's also a bunker down the left which you've probably seen from the drone footage so i'm either left hand side of green in that bunker i can't see from this uh, t position but we'll uh, we'll soon find out read of the put and uh, first of all let's talk about these bunkers that I gladly avoided look how tough they are but I've just had a look at the put and the read is basically as soon as it comes from about four foot short of that uh, pin the whole runoff is back into this bunker so the last thing I want to do is go past the hole with this one Great half there in the end, uh, more than happy with the three. Tentative on the first putt, I probably taught myself out of it, really scared of uh, overrunning it, and like I said, uh, getting embarrassingly back into this bunker if I ran too bold and past that hole. But I think it's a good indication of what they can do here with this Irish Open in terms of pin placements. And if the wind gets up, pin placements like that, it's really hard to get near to them without taking these kind of hazards into the equation. So, but yeah, happy again, one up, uh, still on the card. Right, I'm going to have a quick stop off on the 14th tee. I'm a little bit shielded here. The wind has picked up a little bit, but like I said, um, it's been fairly benign today. And uh, I'm sure that Ballylithan will hope that the wind picks up a bit to make it as tough as it can when the pros come here in July. A typical example of what's gone on here um, on this particular hole is just looking at the card. It's a 14th. It plays 158 from the sort of um, white tees, as you'd call them. But another 40, what is it, 42 yards back from where I'm sat is the tees that they're going to be playing for the championship, the Irish Open. And they've done that on about six or seven tee uh, positions, moved them back quite considerably. And it must be a different course from back there, seriously. This par three, elevated position, 200 yards away, coming down, bunker right in the front. And that's the thing about this golf course, plenty of changes in elevation. Every fairway is literally rolling from... If, you, if you're driving a buggy it's almost uh, difficult not to tip the thing because it's going to be plenty of awkward stances no doubt the ground will be bone dry it'll be cut really really tight the fairways as will be the greens and it's going to be a real tough test i think um but 
it's a, it's a real top quality, as you'd expect, it's held in the Irish Open, but it is a real top quality Lynx track. And a bit different, like I say, there's a bit more, there's plenty of shape to every hole, and it certainly gets you thinking off the tee. When you stood there and you see these narrow, narrow fairways, like I say, as with all good Lynx tracks, then it just puts that little bit of doubt in your mind and everything starts to tense up a little bit. Right, so not only is this the final deciding hole of the man versus golf hole challenge, I'm stood on the 18th tee where Rory McIlroy and co will be, well, I say where they'll be stood, they're about another 80 yards further back. This is another new tee box that they've built here at Glashidi for the Irish Open. So like I said, it's a far different hole what they'll be playing from back there. But the challenge today is all about the average golfer and can I par 18? I par 18, I win man versus golf hole challenge, but in my head, I also become the Irish Open champion 2018. First thing I'm gonna do is get this tee shot out of the way. This is a big uh, left to right sweeping dog leg. Plenty of bunkers and trouble on the corner of the dog leg, as they always are. Uh, so I've got to set it off on that far left bunker is the idea. A little bit of cut, finer short stuff, wedge into the green, all the birdie put, and then just here the galleries go absolutely wild. Something like that. I think let's just make sure I don't duff the tee shot first. With such a great build up, this can only go one way. that it was a bit too much cut um, it did start off relatively online maybe a little bit more center of fairway than it needs to be and there's a right bunker I'll get some drone footage for you now bunker short right on the corner I've ended up on the top of there so uh, I've no idea what lies for me but uh, it should be okay in terms of finding a ball and then we'll have a look if I've got any kind of shot into this 18th green in front of what I believe are packed galleries <music> Right, okay, not got a bad light. Bunker is just uh, to my uh, to my right. I think if it had been, I'm literally level with it, so I'm lucky that I'm not in it. Grandstand, you can probably see the flags. The grandstand is in the right there. It's all set up, ready for the big crowds uh, in a few weeks' time. And the flag, I can just see, I can see the top of the flag. Anyway, I've got 140 in. Wind is off the left, fingers crossed. On the green it was right on line but uh just a tad short but i'm right on the green it's absolutely chuffed so don't forget i'm in the final group of the open here if I hold this, I win the Irish Open 2018. If not, it's into a playoff with Rory. Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough, it was right on line. 
I, I wimped out. So it's into a playoff with Rory. How much fun was that? Walking up the 18th uh, with the grandstands up was absolutely brilliant. I enjoyed every bit of that. Uh, bogey five. Oh no, sorry, par four. So uh, the average golfer does win uh, one up in terms of the man versus golf hole challenge. I've just completely uh, got a little bit overexcited there and uh, I forgot everything to be honest with you where I am because I was uh, I was caught in the moment enjoying it all how must it feel to walk up that 18th day to have to all the put to win a major championships it must be an unreal feeling but it was good enough for me today anyway at um, at the Glacidi links thank you to Ballyliffin Golf Club for having the average golfer with so much going on at the moment um, but for them to have my man versus golf hole challenge absolute thrill um, don't forget, if you like this video, then hit the thumbs up button, uh, comment down below, and uh, I'll see you very soon. That was day two um, of my trip to Ireland, and tomorrow morning I'm off to Portrush, and we'll be playing Castle Rock Golf Club, and you'll see plenty more of the same. Right, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon.